Magnus Bullhead, so simple a kid can do it. Hello, I'm Derek Craig from New Day Outdoors Productions. I've been a uh, pro staffer for Magnus Broadheads for several years now. And what drew me originally to Magnus Broadheads was their bullhead lineup for hunting turkeys. I've been an avid turkey hunter for many, many years. Uh, killed many with shotguns. Kind of got tired of that and wanted to bow hunt turkeys. Uh, over the years, as I was struggling to figure out how best to bow hunt turkeys, I was going for the traditional body shot with deer related broadheads, uh, whether it's a fixed blade or, or expandable. Uh, of all those that I uh, shot over the years with a body shot, I lost just as many as I recovered. I was very aggravated and frustrated and uh, several years ago stumbled across the head and neck shot concept of the Magnus Bullhead. Uh, and that's what gravitated me to the product and ever since then I've been extremely successful with the Magnus Bullheads. I've never lost a turkey with the Magnus Bullheads. They've always fallen pretty much right where I shot them. So it's been a great uh, product that has really upped my success when it comes to bow hunting turkeys in the spring. Now what we've got here is the Magnus Bullhead products on the table here and we're going to go over on this DVD some of the the tips and and tricks to making you as proficient as possible come spring with the Magnus Bullhead system. What we have here is the 125 grain Magnus Bullhead as you would receive it in its packaging. Uh, it comes with three heads, uh, also comes with a set of replacement blades and comes with a DVD which this video should be on the new DVD for 2015. They also offer the product in a 100 grain head, which is a smaller cut on diameter, uh, very effective, will take a turkey's head off, uh, probably geared more towards the crossbow guys, really like the 100 versus the 125. It's gonna be a little more forgiving head to shoot than the 125, but if you follow the tips that I'm gonna give you on this DVD, shooting the 125 should be no problem. This is a 125 grain Magnus Broadhead out of the package. As you can see, three very large blades that are sharp and will take a turkey's head completely off if you hit the turkey right. This is a head and neck shot broadhead only. It's not meant for shooting a turkey in the body. I've witnessed an errant shot in a turkey's body with these and what happens is the turkey's feathers are so dense that when these big long surface area of these blades hit the feathers, the arrow basically bounces off of the turkey. Um, yeah, the turkey might be a little sore the next day, but he is going to live to fight another day 99.9% .9 of the time. That also applies to if you get into the feathery area on the neck below the wattles and everything, those feathers are enough to stop a broadhead like this. But the beauty of the head and neck on a turkey is that the turkey's head and neck offers a larger killing area in square inches then do what the vitals internal of the turkey. And there's so many blood vessels in that head and neck area that they bleed out very quickly and it's a very quick and efficient and effective product for killing a turkey with a bow and arrow. Now as I said, there are three big blades on the Magnus Bullhead and they're attached to the ferrule using a Phillips screw. There's a machine slot in the ferrule, the blade slides in there and the Phillips screw holds it together. And all you need to work on these is a smaller sized Phillips screwdriver. And it's just simply loosening it or tightening it down to change out your blades. One of the things that you always need to do, and we'll go over this a little more when we're shooting, is when you practice with these broadheads, after every shot, take your Phillips screwdriver, it takes 10 seconds, and go through and give it a snug tightening on every single screw. The reason you want to do this is you have to look at this blade is very long and when it impacts your target there is a lot of torque on that blade. Okay, And not that the screw comes loose 
but all that torque loosens things up, all right? And you're not really, they don't really come loose, but you're snugging it down for your next shot. And what that will do is it will greatly reduce any damage potential that you can do to the aluminum ferrule. Now, in the event that you do damage the aluminum ferrule and the blades, every Magnus product has a lifetime, no questions asked, guarantee, okay? So, one other note while handling these, okay, remember this is a, a broadhead. That is a blade and it's very sharp. Now, it's not scalpel sharp, and the reason we don't want it scalpel sharp, unlike a deer, is because of the angles that it hits a turkey's head and neck. You need a little steeper angle on the blade, but it is sharp and it will cut you. So be very careful when you're handling these, because they can and will cut you if you're not careful. Use some common sense. So how do we carry these big blades into the field on the end of our arrows? Well, Magnus sells a quiver adapter, and basically it is a plastic sleeve, and it fits in most any quiver that's out there. So it goes in there, when you're, this is on the arrow, it slides right up in there, and you can carry those broadheads safely out in the field, not cut yourself, not get hung up on brush, not clip the string on your bow, or what have you. Part of the success of the system is a quality arrow, and Magnus highly recommends and sells the Victory V1 arrow for the Magnus bullheads. Basically, it's a 300 spine arrow shaft that is extremely straight and has got a very consistent spine from tip to knock, and that's very important. We'll talk a little bit more about spine coming up. What you'll notice also on these Victory V1 arrows is there's a four, four inch fletch and it's feathers on the end. That works very well in steering the Magnus broadhead. This is also a full length arrow shaft and we'll talk a little more about that here shortly. But it's very important to have a good quality arrow and Magnus has been selling the Victory V1 arrows for several years now. They've been proven, they fly well, the spine is consistent, and they're a very stiff, straight arrow. Okay, so let's talk a little more about arrows and spine and why it's so important with the Magnus Bullhead. Basically, here is the Victory V1 arrow shaft with a 125 grain Magnus Bullhead on the end. Again, handle carefully and use some common sense. Anytime we talk broadheads, whether it's a deer broadhead or a large broadhead like this, we got to talk about aerodynamics, okay? And anytime you put a broadhead out on the end of an arrow shaft, it basically acts as a wing, like on an airplane, okay? And that wing out there is very critical in how the arrow flies, just as your airplane, the wing properties and their shape and relationship to the size of the aircraft are important in keeping that aircraft up. Same applies with a broadhead on an arrow shaft. Okay, so what you can obviously see here is we have three very large wings on the front of this. Now, it's very important in our wings that everything is made within very tight tolerances. Okay, and that's where Magnus quality comes into play. Magnus makes everything right here in the United States. It's, it's made in-house. They have very tight quality controls on this, so they know what they're doing when you're putting that big wing out there on front. But more important, or as important to that, is the arrow itself. Okay, again, this is a Victory V1 arrow shaft. It is a 300 spine arrow, and it is extremely consistent from tip to tail, okay? That consistent spine and the uh, very straight tolerances of this arrow shaft help eliminate any aerodynamic forces that might be negative against this whole system when it comes to flying. So you need to have an extremely stiff and consistent spine arrow to offset the dynamic forces up here when flying, okay, from these wings, all right? On the back end of this, we got four feathers. They're four inch long and they help also steer, okay? Uh, the reason for the four inch 
feathers instead of a longer five inch feather is on different short brace height bows. And Magnus has found that the four inch four fletch uh, feathers on the end of the shaft does a very good job of steering that arrow. So it's very important that you have a stiff, consistent spine arrow with four feathers on the back side to help steer it. Okay, your small uh, micro veins that, that you can put on the end uh, of your arrow, and there's several manufacturers that make them, they don't give the steering properties that you need to balance out that big wing on the front end. Okay?